Hey there, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, you'll learn how to use multiple slide masters in the same presentation. If you're new to using the slide master, make sure you check out my video number six, which explains the basics of using the slide master. So let's say your presentation is split up into multiple sections or you would just like to have a different theme on some of your slides. Maybe you need some separator slides. Uh, for different speakers. So there's an easy way this can be done. This can be accomplished by adding multiple slide masters to your presentation. Let me show you what I mean. So from any slide, let's go to the slide master. We'll click view and then slide master. So in the slide master, as you can see, this particular presentation only has one slide master. I have my main master layout slide at the very top and then all the associated layouts with this particular theme, which is the Four Seasons. So let's say there's a few slides in my presentation that I wanna apply a new theme and I want some new layouts with a new theme. So let's go ahead and insert an additional slide master. So the way we would do that is from the Slide Master tab, we would just click Insert Slide Master. And notice now what I have is I have a second slide master that does not have a theme just yet. So when you add a slide master, it's just white. And I could go ahead and add a theme uh, right away. But um, if I do, well, let me show you what happens. If I go ahead and click on the drop down for themes and select this different theme here, what happens is I still have my second slide master that I added that's plain white and then it went ahead and added a third slide master. You could do it this way, but let me show you a step that you can use to avoid having an extra blank slide master. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo the third slide master and the second one as well and I'm back to just having the one slide master. So um, let's go back and start over. So I'll go ahead and insert the slide master and this time, before I select the theme, I'm gonna go ahead and undo this preserve option, which is by default, it's turned on. And I did try to understand this preserve option. I found it a little confusing, but let me just explain it easily. Basically, it's turned on and if you turn it off, you'll see this prompt and it'll ask you if you want PowerPoint to delete the masters and I wanna say no, because I wanna keep this. And when I select the new theme, it applies the new theme to that particular slide master and it does not create a third slide master. So as you can see, I have my original slide master and the layouts and my new slide master with all these new layouts. So now let's see how we can use that new slide master in the presentation. I'm gonna go ahead and click close master view and I'm back to normal view. And now let's see now there's about three slides that I would like to use a different type of a theme, maybe something business related, something a little different that maybe enhances the green. So let's say I want to apply the new theme to three slides. I could either hold the control key down and click on the other two slides, or I can hold the shift key down, click on the last slide, and now those three particular slides are selected. Then I press the right mouse button and select layout. Now when I select layout, notice that I have my original theme, the four seasons with the associated layouts, but now I have my new theme from my new slide master. And if you already have content like I do on these slides, you wanna be careful that you don't pick a layout that has a lot of placeholders because then you'll end up having to delete the extra, extra placeholders. So in my case, since I have some content on my slides, I'm gonna select blank. And that looks really nice because it matches with the colors in my uh, bar graph. And uh, what you'll need to do is maybe just make some adjustments because if you have, like I said, if you have content already and you select a particular uh, new theme or layout, sometimes things move around um, on the slide. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait till I have my four headed arrow, move that around and maybe move that this to the center. Okay, and that'll work. And now you can see that I still am able to use my original layouts from my first slide master, but if I want, I can uh, select any slide or slides and select a layout from my new slide master. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.